Hey guys, this is Brody here from Team Supersu, here today with a deck profile of my new Galaxy Shadows. Now sadly this can't be an in real life like a normal one, this cause um, I traded my Shadows actually for some Infernoids, which I reckon is freaking awesome. There should be a profile of that coming up real soon. But let's get straight into it. So right now I have 21 monsters, starting with BLS, 2 Galaxy Eyes, Galaxy Knight, 3 Shadol Beast, 1 Shadol Dragon, 2 Shadol Squamata, 3 Galaxy Wizard, 3 Mathematician, 2 Shadol Hedgehog, 2 Shadol Falco, and 1 Glove Bulb. And this is basically the same, the only things we had to cut is we had to cut some monsters to really allow for some other stuff that we'll be talking about, like Hidden Armories and the new Nephew Shadol Fusion. So what I cut was your Dragon and a Knight, which weren't really necessary these days. With Dragon, it's kind of irrelevant to be completely honest, like the only decks really going to be good against is Klee and maybe Burning Abyss if they're running like the full trap builds, which not too many people are, but yeah. Still the same, um, got the good light targets here, Mathematician equals win for everything, and Glob Bulb still so we can make Sheck really easy. Cool, anyway, so let's get on to our spells now, we have 18 of them, starting off with Photon Sanctuary, 3 Shadow Fusion, 2 Hidden Armory, 1 Solar Charge, 3 Galaxy Expedition, 1 Foolish Burial, 2 MST, 2 El Shadow Fusion, 1 Snatch Steel, 1 Nephi Shadow Fusion, and 1 Galaxy Zero. Now, for the addition of me getting Snatch Still and Nephi Shadow Fusion, I decided to cut Galaxy Zero down to 1, because of the combination Hidden Armory, we can start recycling a lot more to get some more good pluses on it. Had to cut down uh, El Shadow Fusion also to make some more room for this kind of stuff here. And also, same with MST. I've also started to cut that because, you know, lastly, when I have the uh, freaking McLough or Necros, whatever you want to call them, when I ever draw MST, it just feels so bad because it's a completely dead card, like pretty much like you didn't even draw in your draw phase. It's basically what it comes down to. Okay, now we'll move on to our traps here. We have five and we have two Sinister Shadow games, one Sh Shadow Core, and two Call the Haunted. Exactly the same as we have a profile. Basically, same reason. Call the Haunted is very, very, very necessary. You've got your Galaxy Wizards and your Galaxy Expeditions to really explode off and also recycle our constructs because our extra deck is really, really, really tight. And talking about the extra deck, we'll go straight into it. For our Shadow Monsters, we have one El Shadow Shekinaga, two El Shadow Construct, one El Shadow Grister, one El Shadow Winder. Now these are very, very bare bones. I was talking about another one. Um, my extra deck hasn't really changed at all, I think, to be honest. But yeah, the only reason I run had to cut these down is just really didn't have enough room for it. And between Call of the Haunted and Soul Charge and that kind of stuff, the two kind of works pretty well. The others are kind of just there because they're there just in case we need to go into them. Might think it honestly thinking of cutting grass before the third construct because they just go into it so often. Okay, now for the synchros, we have Leo, Yazi, Black Rose, Vulcan, and Samsra. Now, this is I'm playing this completely how I would have played in real life. So, usually that Samsra, if you're playing online, try and make it an Armour Days or something, just a bit more generically good. Um, I play Vulcan over Goyo because it's really easy to bounce with Call the Haunted and should all coin get some real easy advantage off. And you can also bounce your equip spells too, don't forget. Yazi's here to lock out Burning Abyss, Black Rose just to blow everything up, and Leo because it's just really good to shut out some matchups pretty much. Okay, I get on to our XYZs. I have one number 62, one Felgrand, one Elsai, one Castell, and one Degusta Emerald. The Castell in here is just good generic removal for level 4s. Degusta Emerald is very, very important because as I had to cut down a lot of the Shadol Core, I find, and find myself making that a lot just to recycle my mix so I can use my fusions from my deck again. Our side is really, really good. Um, gets the extra mill, always to stack something on top and kind of works through a bit. And every now and then, you'll call Soul Charge and you'll actually hit and draw it, and it's like the best thing ever. Felgrand, mainly just for Telonites, to be honest. I could probably cut it for another Shadow Fusion, but yeah. Number 62 helps us get around really annoying stuff like Leo and really good in a clear matchup because 4000 attack is surprisingly hard for them to get around, especially if they're in skill drain up. Clearly, now to my side deck. This is my side deck I would run in real life, so. You can always change a lot more with your own ones. Um, one Shadow Dragon, one Neo Spatian Grandma, two Flank C, two Maxi, two Dark Hole, third MST, three Twister, and three Imperial Iron Walls. Um, these feel pretty stand. The extra dragons here, just in case we verse Klee. Grandma, it's pretty much in every single one of my decks, I just love it. The Flying C and the Maxi to combo off each other when you're versing Burning Abyss and they start to go nuts to make sure that they're not going to kill you. Two Dark Holes to get around um, three good Dijun Lock. You can always obviously replace one of these for like a Regeki or something. All these here just for Klee's and the people who start spamming in floodgates like Shadow Mirrors and stuff is just really useful to get off. That's why I like Twister Fairy Wind because you can use it on your first turn when you're going second just so you don't get shut down. 
an Imperial line will just for Spirit Beast, Yasenji when they start main decking a crap ton of stuff, and um, Necraz obviously. So yeah, the deck kind of lost its potential a lot more with Shadows is kind of always falling off the map, but it still works really well. It still has the awesome explosive plays that you could see, especially if the rank 8 is going into 62, plus a Construct and just making an easy game. And yeah, I still like it. It's my only little thing. Honestly, don't know what I'm going to do with Galaxies next to try and improve them. Honestly, think actually making a Cyber Dragon Galaxy deck to abuse Soldier plus the new um, Cyber Dragon one, the Infinity one, that like stops pretty much anything and makes 101 cry. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you like the profile. If you have any improvements, just tell me, and um, I'd be happy to hear. Bye.